Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Table. My name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a full solo playthrough of Halls of Hegra. It's the early days of World War II. We play the commander of a group of Norwegian volunteers fighting overwhelming German forces from an abandoned mountain fortress. Don't worry if you don't know how to play because I'm gonna teach the game as we go, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. And I just went ahead and I got everything set up for the game. So you can see down here, the game takes place over 11 turns or days. And in the first three days, we're gonna be in the mobilization stage. We have our mobilization board right here and we're gonna be preparing for the first attack. The first thing that we do on our turn is to draw one of the event cards that matches the stage that we're in. So in this case, the mobilization. The first thing that we want to do is to adjust the weather. That shows snow, so we move this marker up to the snow. And anytime we move it to the snow, we have to move that snow marker to the right. The current weather affects how far our supply routes can go, as well as how much snow we need to dig out in order to access these tiles. We're then going to do what the event says. It says, you must lose one morale. So we go over here to our morale track and just move it down one. It then says you must move the doubt marker one level up. Here's our doubt marker, and we just move that up. And these icons down here remind us that we need to add doubt to the recruit bag equal to where we are on the doubt track. Now, luckily, even though we had to go up one, we're still at one. So we're going to take this purple doubt marker and we're going to add it into the recruit bag. There was already one doubt marker in the bag, so now there's two, along with a bunch of other potential recruits. We start with one officer, three soldiers, and two volunteers. But now we have a chance to add to our workers. We're gonna start by just drawing one random token out of the bag. Okay, I believe these are known as a hunter. We're then gonna go ahead and draw a second one Okay, we got a soldier. Now at this point, we could stop drawing out of the bag and just collect these two workers, or we can press our luck and keep drawing. But if we draw one of those doubt markers, we'll have to remove all but one of these workers. So let's go ahead and see if we can't push our luck a little bit. Okay, another, another soldier. And now we can potentially draw one more time. The maximum that we can get is four. Yeah, let's go ahead and give it a shot. There's only two of those doubt markers in here and there's quite a bunch of other tokens. Aha, there we go, okay. So now we have to stop. Now for every one of these volunteers that we drew, we get to collect a supply. So we started with one supply, we now got an additional supply and all of these can go over here into the active box. We're now done with this card and we're done with the event phase. We're now gonna move on to the morning phase. All of our workers are already active, so we can skip straight ahead to placing them out here onto the board in these various action spots. This is essentially the worker placement part of the game. There's a bunch of various actions all over the place. You can see here we have two spots here, anywhere where there's these circles. So we got a couple of spaces here for the negotiate, the open new supply route, basically anywhere where you see these flags. And so we have a fire action here that we can't quite use yet. We have a area right here to go on supply runs. That's gonna be very important. We have a bunch of maintenance actions down here. Shovel Snow, Repair, Bolster, Promote, and Inspire. We have a spot here where we can treat injured defenders. I'm going to go over and explain all of these different worker placement spots as we go along. I'm concerned about our low morale. I definitely like to get that up, and one way we can do that is through this Inspire action. It says, move the morale marker one space up. Now, if you look here, you see in this circle it has a times two. That means that it takes two workers in order to be able to do this action. But you can see here, if you use an officer, they count as two workers. 
So one officer could do this action by themselves. And so why don't we do that? Why don't we have our officer go there and inspire? We can get that morale back up to neutral. Now, if we wanted, we could do this multiple times. I could get two more of my people, anybody, and we could do that twice to get our morale even to the positive if we want to. I'm not sure that's what we want to do. I think one thing I want to absolutely make sure that we do is to open a new supply route. That also is going to take two workers. They can be any workers at all. I also want to make sure that we get some repairs done. So once again, two workers are needed. And you can see there the officer is not allowed to take that action. Let's at least start digging out some of that snow a little bit. You can see here it's a times one, so any worker other than an officer can go there and take that action one time, but the hunter gets to do it twice. Normally I would go on a supply run, but because of the bad weather, I don't know if it's worth it. Why don't we just keep our workers here? Let's maybe do a second set of repairs. And what the heck, let's just do three sets of repairs. There's a lot of stuff broken, so I think this will be useful. Okay, there we go. We've assigned all of our workers, so that's the morning phase over. We move on to the day phase where we get to resolve these different actions in order as laid out here on the board with this zero here starting here and moving on around here like that. First up is we resolve this action right here, this open new supply routes. Now out here on this map, this is where we do our supply runs. You're gonna see that in action in the next couple of days. You can see there at the top, we start with one active supply route, but by taking this action, we can activate more of them. I wanna really focus on morale for this playthrough. So I'm gonna take these delivery tokens, they're called, there's three of them and put them in the corresponding supply route. Now, if you look at the one furthest to the right, on that one you have to choose either these tokens, which are gonna give us some extra morale when we go collect them and deliver them back, or the other one that would give us additional soldiers. And that's it. We chose our delivery tokens, we placed them in the new supply depot. These workers go over here to the tired box. And now we go ahead and we keep going. We're gonna ignore defend the walls for um, the first three rounds. We would then go to fire artillery, but we didn't put anyone there. We would then get to send anyone that we put here out onto the supply runs, or anyone who was on the board would then get to move around. Again, you're gonna see that in action. But for now, we're gonna skip down here to number four, maintenance. And we can actually activate these in any order that we want. Let's just go ahead here and start with shoveling snow. Because we use this guy, we get to do it twice. And all that means is we move this marker two spaces to the left. Once that marker reaches the end of this track, we get to flip one of these tokens over and we'll either find additional supplies or maybe even new worker placement spots. The token would then reset to the three and we could just keep doing that, shoveling snow, finding new stuff. For now though, we're just gonna move it two spaces in the right direction. That defender gets tired and we can move on here to some repairs. Now we did this three times, so we can do three different repairs. Currently we have a few things in need of repair. One is this artillery gun. So these tokens here show that there's some repairs needed, right? Those are damage tokens. We also have damage over here in the uh, defend the walls section. That's definitely gonna become important here uh, once we get to the first attack phase. But for now, I'd like to spend all three of my repair actions just repairing this gun here. One, two, three, just like that. All of these defenders are gonna get tired. And anytime we repair something, we take these tokens and we place them into the hit bag. We'll be drawing from this bag later in the game, and it's possible that these locations will get uh, damaged again. Now what we've done here is we've repaired this artillery, which means we can now come here to this action and fire this thing off, and I'll show you exactly how that works here coming up probably in the next turn. 
But for now, let's just keep on going down here. We have this Inspire. This is just going to let us move the morale marker one space up. Back to neutral. There we go. That was all the maintenance actions. We don't have any infirmary actions at the moment. If we had defenders who were injured in here, then we would be doing a relapse and recovery phase. I'll show that again when that, when that happens, but we can skip it for now. And we then move on to the morale phase. So before we can resolve the morale track, we have to go through this list of morale modifiers because there's several things that can increase or decrease our morale at this point. First up, if we had managed to get our doubt marker all the way down here, you can see these little marks right there, we would get an either one or two step boost to our morale. We're not down there, so we can ignore that. And now we have a long list of things that could lower our morale. First up, a red day. Now, if you look down here on the turn track, you can see some of these days are highlighted in red. The first one is the sixth round, so we don't have to worry about that right now. We also check to see if we're out of supplies. And right now we're fine, we have two supplies, but if we were to be out of supplies at this point, we would lose one morale. We check to see if there's any defenders in the waiting area of our infirmary. We're all clear there, otherwise we would lose a morale. Then we would lose a morale for every single defender that's in our morgue. We definitely don't want people dying on us, because that can really lower your morale. And this last one doesn't affect us right now, but later it involves having German infantry in red sectors. You'll see that during the first attack. Okay, so it looks like our morale ended right in the middle. And so because of that, we resolve nothing. But as you can see, if we have high morale, we get to draw some of those hope cards and resolve them. And if we have low morale, we have to draw the low morale cards and resolve those. And those have all sorts of various <laughs> good and bad effects. You will see that shortly. We then move on here to this surrender box. This is something that we don't need to worry about for quite a while. That's going to come into play much later in the game. So for right now, we're just going to ignore that, pretend that doesn't exist. And the last thing we need to do during a turn is to come down here and look at our current day. Right now we're in day one. And you can see these German symbols right there. That means that we have to put two German patrols onto the board. So we go to the patrol bag. We draw these one at a time randomly. And they have a number on the back, in this case, four. So we're gonna look at our current stage. We're in the mobilization stage. You can see how it's colored green. So that means we're gonna go to this green row, the top row, and place this in space four. And because there's a second one there, we gotta do it twice. And three. Those are German patrols that are gonna get in the way of our supply runs. For now, we have nothing else that we need to resolve here. You can see at the end of day three, there's gonna be a coup. But right now, all we do is move on to day two. And we always start the day by drawing the appropriate event card. Looks like the weather is cloudy. That's good to see. We're gonna lose another morale, which is annoying. And we have to add another patrol onto the board. So once again, we go to the bag. Please don't be one. Ooh, it's two, okay. We then have to add doubt. It's still just one. And we're gonna recruit. Okay, volunteer. Again, it never makes sense to draw less than two tokens, so we just can draw two right away. Ooh. And this is where we might want to stop, because if we draw a third token and it's doubt, we'll only get to keep one of those. But I say let's press our luck a little bit here. There's still just three of those doubt tokens in here. Ah, okay. I think at this point, I'd like to stop. I want to stop risking it because I'd like to have all three of these. Remember, for each volunteer, you get to add a supply. So we now have four supplies. 
That defender is a medic. They're particularly good at healing. And these come in at the ready. That's the event phase done. Now for the morning phase. As you can see, the bulk of our defenders are tired. And so in order to use them, we need to activate them. And the way we do that is by spending supplies primarily. You can see here, we have a marker here that's on the four. And that's saying that for every supply we spend, we can activate four of our workers, our defenders. So let's go ahead and spend one supply now, I will say, if we had anyone here in this rest area, and you can put at max two of your defenders in this rest area, the first thing that would happen is they would automatically become active. But we didn't have anyone there, so we now spent a supply. And let's go, let's get our officer, and let's get three soldiers. And I think I want to do another supply to activate four more. And let's go one, two, three, four. Now, another thing you can do is you can lower morale by one in order to activate two workers. So I could do that right now. I could just lower the morale and get these two. But I think instead I'm going to stop and I'm going to put them in the rest area. Again, you can put up to two in the rest area and they will automatically activate next round. And now we just get to do the same thing we did last time, placing them out here in these worker placement spots. I have a lot that I want to do. I definitely want to shovel some snow. They'll be able to do it twice, and so that's all we need. I also want to fire this artillery. We sort of repaired it, so let's go ahead and fire it. That's going to require two defenders. And you can see it has to either be soldiers or our officer. I think I want our officer to continue to inspire. Although I am tempted to do this promote, which requires your officer and then one of the others, like the volunteer there, and then they get upgraded into a soldier, which would be nice because we do have a lot of volunteers. But I think I'm going to put one of the volunteers and one of the soldiers out for some supply runs. We want to start getting some repair duns over here. So let's do that. And we also want to get our defenses up. And that requires us to go to the bolster. Leaves our medic with not much to do. Well, I guess they can shovel some snow. Okay, that seems good. Let's resolve. Now we didn't do anything on the mobilization board, which is kind of a shame. I would like to open at least one more supply route. We can do that next round. So we then come around here to firing our artillery. And we have a couple of different actions that we can choose between when we fire the artillery. Later in the game, we can attack some of the German infantry. Don't need to worry about that right now. We could choose to attack things that are on the board. So we could take out some of these patrols if we wanted to. In fact, we can take out one patrol per target icon that's revealed. So we could actually take out two of those. But I think the thing I'd like to do is to attack the airfield. And that's shown just right here. We have four different options that we can choose from when we attack the airfield. And we can choose one per revealed target icon. We can't choose the same thing twice though. So one thing we could do is to remove the leftmost stack of these air raid tiles. Those are things that are going to cause us all sorts of havoc later in the game. So we could try to be proactive now and make our life easier later. Similarly, we could add two miss tokens to the hit bag. We're going to be drawing stuff out of there. It's mostly going to be bad, but if we can fill that bag with miss tokens, that's going to, again, make our life a lot easier later. We could also just get two morale. And since I get to do two actions, I think I definitely want to get that two morale. One, two. There we go. We're going to move our morale in uh, the, a positive direction. And then we could also move our surrender marker down. That's handy if you're about to lose the game, because if the surrender marker gets to the very top, you instantly lose. Right now, I'm not too worried about that. I think for our second thing, let's just add two miss tokens to the hit bag. And 
Now, after we fire off the artillery, we have to do a, a jam check. And when you fire at the airfield, as shown right here, we need to basically roll a six or our weapon is gonna jam. So let's see if we get incredibly lucky. No, we did not get incredibly lucky. So we basically take the rightmost one of these icons and flip it over to its jam side. Now when we go to fire the artillery, again, we'll only have one of these icons unless we unjam that token, which we can do with this repair action. And there we go. Those guys get tired. Now we get to go up here to our supply run. We're gonna move the guys that are in this box out here and we can now resolve all of our defenders that are out here on the map. They each get to move and it depends on the weather here. So because it's cloudy, we can move one to five spaces. If you were to encounter a patrol on your way, then you'd have to stop and make a decision about what you wanted to do. If you wanted to just hide, if you wanted to attack the patrol, if you wanted to try to sneak by them. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that because we have a clear path all the way to our supply depot, at least to our first one here. So we follow these dotted lines and we can just go one, two, three, four, five. Once we get to the depot, we have to stop and they get to collect one of the delivery tokens. Now, if they're able to get back here with that delivery token, then we'll get some rewards. We'll get some supplies and we'll get some morale. Now I could take them up this way, but you can see they wouldn't be able to make it to that depot. That depot is actually six spaces away. So it's a little further away, I think. We're just gonna take them in the same direction, same path. There we go. Hopefully if the weather cooperates and we don't get some patrols in our way, we can make it back next round and bolster our supplies a little bit. Keep in mind, we'll get to resolve this regardless if we put any workers here. You know, those guys will still get uh, an opportunity to come back. And there we go, we're done with that. We come back over here to four, the maintenance phase. This one's easy, just inspire, move that morale up. Here we're shoveling snow three times. So we have one, two, we got to the end. So we get to flip the top one of these over and move this back to the three spot. And we got a map room. So this is like a new worker placement spot. You can see there's a map room spot right there. So we put that there. And anytime we get a new worker placement spot, there's always a damage token involved. So we find that. And we place it here in the rightmost box. So what this map room is gonna let us do is to look at and then arrange how we want the top three tokens so we can get the one that we really want. And then if we were to repair this, we would actually be able to move the snow marker two spaces by going here. And you can see here, it normally requires two defenders, but our volunteers can do this, just, just one of them. So that is pretty cool. Now we have an extra, we did three, so we get to do an extra dig. And then these guys go away. As much as I want to repair this now, I really think repairing this area here is gonna be more important. I would like to unjam that as well, but uncovering these spaces is gonna be very important. So we just take the, uh, the leftmost one and we pop it into the hit bag. Here with the bolster action, we have a choice. We could just add one of those mist tiles into the hit bag like we did over here. But instead, I'd like to increase our defense by one. So I'm just gonna move that from zero to one. This represents us preparing the fortress for the upcoming attack. And it's gonna be very useful to have this as high as possible. Okay. That was all of our actions. Again, no one's injured, so we can skip all of that. None of these morale modifications come into play. So we can go right to the morale track and you can see here we're at plus two morale. 
which means we're going to get to draw three of the high morale cards and then activate two of our choice. Let me make sure I shuffle this up good. All right. Drawing three, but we only get to resolve two of them. Now, because we're in the mobilization stage, we look at this top level, we can have a look at the top card of any event deck. I can see how that could be useful. Repair one damage tile. Ooh, I really like that. And add one miss to the hit bag. Absolutely. So we're going to shuffle this one back into the deck. I like to just shuffle the deck right before I draw. And we're going to resolve these two. So we can repair one damage tile. Yeah, let's go ahead and repair. Ooh, or we could repair the map room. Yeah, let's repair the map room. Always remember, put those in the hit bag. And then you just discard those. And we'll add one miss. So we're really, we're, the hit bag is in pretty good shape, I'd say. I like the way that's going. And I forgot to mention this last time, but at the end of resolving the morale track, you move it back to zero. Again, we don't have to worry about surrender. Look at here, nothing to add. We don't have to add any patrols or anything, so we can just move straight on to day three. And of course, each day starts with an event. Oh yes, I was hoping it would be sunny. That is very fortunate. But what's extremely unfortunate <laughs> is the actual event itself. You must move the fear marker two levels up. One, two, oh no. And the doubt marker one level up. Ugh. So now we're at doubt of two, which means we have to add two of these purple discs into the recruit bag. And that is really unfortunate. There are now four doubt tokens in the bag. This is going to make it much harder to recruit additional forces. Ugh. Let's see if we get lucky. <laughs> okay. Immediately unlucky. So we drew one of the doubt tokens. Now here's the deal. You always get to recruit at least one defender. So at this point, we're just going to draw until we get a defender. Okay, there we go. And we just get to collect that defender. We have to stop. We can't draw any more. And the doubt token gets removed? No. <laughs> it gets put right back into the bag. We're never going to get rid of that doubt unless there's some event or something that lets us do it. Oh, that was sad. Okay, morning phase. These guys are resting, so they get to come in right away for free. And I think we, I mean, we're definitely going to spend one supply to get those three soldiers, our officer. Yeah, and we'll, we'll spend, we'll spend two supplies. That will give us everybody. And actually the medic can stay behind and rest. Okay. I think that's good. We definitely want to have one of these guys on the map room. That's going to let us look at that and then also clear it off so we'll be able to get immediately whatever we uh, whatever we want from there. I want to at least do two repairs because I want to get those damage tokens off of there. So that's one repair. And actually, our volunteers can do repairs. So that's two repairs. I think we want to fire the artillery again. You can only do that once per turn. And because that's jammed, we'll only get one shot off, but that's okay. I think we want to get our defense up also. So we could have our volunteer, we could do it like that. I think we want to inspire. Oh, but we also want to open a new supply route as well. Or do we? I kind of do. This is our last chance to open a supply route. 
after this, we won't be able to do that anymore. I feel like... Maybe... We could do that. Open that supply route. Oh, the other thing is, it's sunny. So we absolutely want to send some people out there on a supply run. There's too many things to do. Maybe we don't fire... Maybe we save the gun. Maybe we save the gun, and maybe we send one of our hunters out there, and we do that. Because we want to take advantage of the sun, because they'll be able to move really far. Okay, I think I like that. Final answer. <laughs> that, that was a tough one. Okay, so we're going to get that new supply route. I'm tempted by the mist tokens, to be honest. Love having those mist tokens in the hit bag, so that seems pretty good. Okay, we skip over that. Supply run time. Now, here's what's so great about it. Because it's sunny out, we can move one to six places. But you get minus one movement when you're carrying a delivery token. Unless you're a hunter. The hunters ignore that penalty. Each of these guys can only move five spaces, but that's going to be enough to bring them all the way home. So when you get back home with the delivery token, first thing, this guy gets exhausted. And it shows it right here. We get a morale. The suspicion track goes up by one. We get two supplies. And you get whatever bonus is on the delivery token, in this case, just an extra supply. You then just discard that delivery token, and there you go. And look at this, we get to do it again. Another morale, another suspicion, and three more supply. That's going to put us at six, so we put this one over to the five. And one in the one, six supplies. Very good. That's going to last us for a little while. We then can move these up to six. I say, yeah, let's go for the gusto. Like I said, that's six spaces away, so they can just go all the way there. Now, they might have a long, dangerous track back home. That's the only problem with that, but uh, that's okay. They can take their time a bit. Now, let's go ahead and do the map room right now. Let's resolve that first, because that's sort of a part of this maintenance area. So we can look through these three and order them however we want. Ooh, so we could get the second gun here, so that when we resolve that fire action, we can fire off both the guns. Of course, it's going to come out kind of messed up. Ooh, hidden tools. Repair one damage tile and... Oh, no, or. Or add one miss. Hmm, this medicine cabinet is pretty useful. We're going to start to get some injured uh, defenders, and this medicine cabinet will really come in handy for that. I think I'm going to order it... Uh, let's order it like that. And then we get to move the snow marker two spaces. One, two. Reset back to three. Flip it over. Get the medicine cabinet. And especially since we have a medic, they'll be able to use that to good effect. The damage token on. All right, that guy's exhausted. We're going to bolster... Just get our defense up to two, and then we're going to do two repairs. We could now repair the medicine cabinet, but no, let's repair those two. And you'll see why I want to do that in just a minute. Okay, we're all done here. We're going over to the morale. None of that comes into effect. And so once again, we're drawing three high morale cards and um, resolving two of them. And like I said, I just like to shuffle before drawing. Just makes it a little bit easier. All 
Okay. Two, three. Okay, so we could lower the suspicion track by two. That would be very useful, actually. We could remove one of the patrols. Definitely doing that. And then move two defenders from the tired area to the ready area. Ooh. I think I'm actually going to lower the suspicion track by two. And then remove one of these from the map. This one will get shuffled back in. Get him out of there. And when you remove these, they go back into the patrol bag. Okay, we reset. Don't have to worry about surrender. We check here and we're adding two more patrols and basically, we just don't want to see a six. And there it is, six. But anticipating that, that's why I wanted to lower the suspicion track. And now, as you can see here, at the bottom there, it says coup. So we are going to resolve a coup. It's laid out right here on our mobilization board. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove defenders from the recruit bag equal to our fear level. And so because the fear got out of control, we have to remove five recruits, potential recruits from the recruit bag. That is very, very bad. So let's see what we get here. Now we just ignore the doubt. That's gonna go back into the bag. Two, oh my God. Okay, just drawing doubt at this point. There's four and one more, five. Oh boy. These are out of the game. Oh yeah, we have to go put, put this back. So it's gonna be very, very hard to recruit more, more than one person around from, from here on out. We then move the supply marker one step to the right, and they mean this here. So now in the future, every time we spend a supply, we're only gonna get to ready three defenders rather than four. We can now place one defender on each defensive position that isn't covered by a damaged tile. And so because I was able to clear off all three of those damaged tiles, we can put up to four defenders here basically on the wall to defend us from this oncoming uh, attack. And we can take them from the tired box. The cool thing is that if you place three or four soldiers on here, you'll receive one to two morale boosts. And honestly, soldiers are just more effective up here. So I want to put three soldiers up there. I'd like to put four, but then we're out of soldiers and we need at least one soldier and our captain in order to fire off the artillery. So I think maybe I'll just put a volunteer. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Okay, so because we put three there, we do get one morale boost. And now we actually get to flip this board over. to its first attack side. We move on to round four. And as you can see, things are gonna change a little bit. 